Animal shelters in Egypt have been struggling to keep caring for their pets. With less donations and increasing prices amid rampant inflation in the country and a tight economic situation. For Roo Shelter in Giza, a city on the west bank of the Nile near Cairo, the current financial crisis and hike in prices means they might soon stop taking in new animals and would only care for the ones they already shelter. If prices continue increasing in the coming days, we will stop receiving new cases, but the shelter should keep operating. We won't leave the dogs out on the streets for sure, because if our dogs go out on the streets, they will die. So we will stay responsible for the animals already in the shelter. Many shelters have closed, but we can't do this. There's no place to leave the animals. We will stay together here, but we will totally stop receiving new cases. The owner of the shelter adds, the soaring prices in Egypt have also reflected on the donations. Donations definitely decreased because everyone is facing a crisis now. It's not a problem for us only. Everyone has financial problems. Salaries are same and prices are doubling. If someone used to donate 100 Egyptian pounds, they only donate 50 Egyptian pounds now. The Egyptian pound has fallen nearly 50% since last March and annual headline inflation has climbed above 20%, its highest for five years, though consumers note far steeper price increases for many goods. <laughs> We used to spend an average of 2,500 to 3,300 US dollars a month, including medication, workers' salaries, rent, any renovations of the shelter, medicines, vet consultations, and vehicles that help us transport dogs off from the streets. Prices have now doubled or even tripled. Spendings can now reach from 5,000 to 10,000 US dollars. Food is the costliest spending. We cannot feed the animals dry food every day because it's very expensive. The Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, has blamed the 2011 uprising for destabilizing the country and hampering its economic development. He also frequently blames recent economic turmoil on the impacts of Russia's war on Ukraine and other global factors.